today I would like to talk about a feature that we have released recently for ICHRM that is the performance review module so the performance review module is available under employees performance reviews so if you are an admin you can go to the performance review module and then you can press define a template for your review so uh, as you can see here you have the performance reviews tab review feedback tab and the review template tab so click on review template tab and then here you can add the questions that you are going to ask from your employee for their self-assessment so usually a performance review can have a self-assessment uh, which will be sent to your employee and the employee answers the questions and then it comes back to the admin and then also the admin can uh, ask other employees who are the peers of that employee to give feedback on the particular employee so now first of all i'm going to uh, add the review template for one employee i'm just uh, going to add a few questions first Let's define the uh, review template field as well and then here I can add questions you can make it a text area which has enough space to provide the employees answer actually you can as many other modules in ICHRM you can add various fields to the uh, question form you can even add a file upload so uh, yeah uh, you can have a text field text area select there are two types of select boxes which you which is just a drop down and the select tool is the uh, searchable drop down and you can have multi select uh, control as well so uh, yeah you can explore all these controls when you are testing with uh, one of our demos or when you have your own installation uh, yeah, for now I'm going to add a text area and the validation it is required to answer this question and we do not need any options because options are only needed for uh, drop downs and multi select uh, boxes. So, so, so I've added one question and then I'm going to add another question. It's quickly uh, rating maybe. Okay, I'm going to make this a select box and then I'm going to let the user select rating for one, two, five. So now it's done and I'm going to save it. All right, so uh, this is for the self assessment. Now, let's say I'm going to ask the feedback from uh, uh, colleague of that employee as well so then the set of questions should be different so I'm just going to add uh, I'm going to clone the same uh, review template and change it a little bit uh, so in. to save it and then change the other question as well Okay, so I can say it again. Now we have a new uh, review template as well. So now what you have to do is that uh, you have to press define the performance review. When defining the performance review, you have to select an employee. Let's uh, do a performance review for uh, Joanna Fisher. And the coordinator will be someone else, maybe Alex. And the attendees you can select, like uh, for an example, when we are doing a performance review, most probably there will be a meeting. So the apart from the employee and the coordinator, there can be other people who are attending this meeting. So you can uh, you can uh, name these people here as well. Uh, 
then you're going to select the template for the performance review the status will be pending and the review date i'm going to select maybe uh, 31st and then review start period could be from june 1st to 31st of august and the self-assessment due date which should be an earlier date than the 31st maybe you can select 29th and uh, yeah now the performance review is ready so once you create the performance review uh, the the person who's being reviewed is uh, it's Joanna Fisher will receive an uh, email so she can log in and uh, check her performance reviews so uh, I'm not going to log out and log in I'm just going to use the uh, employee switch feature in ISHRM and I'm going to show you uh, how uh, Joanna will see the uh, the performance review request so when when journal log in she will receive a notification and then under performance reviews she'll be able to see the uh, the review so she can click on the review and then going to answer these questions okay And I'll create my skill size 4 and I'm going to save it but still it's pending so I can change the status to submitted and save it okay now uh, coordinator will be notified and the coordinator also will be able to see the uh, performance review so I'm going to log in as the coordinator uh, so here I'm going to click the switch user icon and now I'm the coordinator Alex and under the uh, employees performance reviews I'll be able to see the, uh, the performance review because I'm the, uh, the coordinator as well and also if I go to the uh, performance reviews I think this is the correct place to look at it performance reviews coordinated by me and I'll be able to see the uh, Jonah Fisher's uh, review so I can view the performance review you can see your answers and uh, okay so uh, now what the admin or the manager can do is that they can ask for the uh, feedback as well so when asking for the feedback they have to go to the uh, performance review again you can you can use the 360 degree feedback principles and ask everybody or you can just uh, uh, ask few peers of the employee or only the supervisor some feedback about the employee so it's up to your company to decide what kind of a process that you would like to follow with ishrm we are not limiting your uh, limiting you into a single process but uh, you are free to select between what you want to do so uh, when requesting feedback you can as we have defined the uh, review template earlier as well uh, you can go to the review feedback tab and then you can select the performance review first and then you can select the employee now here the employee will be the person that we are going to ask the uh, Get the feedback from so I'm selecting no action and uh, status is pending and the template will be employee feedback for the developer and it is due on 29th and I'm going to save it so when I log in as uh, Noah Schmidt so now I'm going to log in as Noah Schmidt and you can see and the uh, main menu for the performance and the reviews will be able to see the feedback that was asked by me so the the, the important thing about the feedback is that uh, 
when you ask for a feedback and when the employees submit the feedback for their colleague the the reference to the the feedback rider will be removed so the feedbacks will always be anonymous so i'm now going to uh, provide the feedback and uh, i'm going to submit it and you will be able to see that once the once uh, noah schmidt write the feedback the name of noah, noah schmidt will be removed from it so it will be anonymous and the uh, the uh, the person being reviewed will not be able to see who provided the feedback only the admin will know so uh, yeah now if you go back to the uh, performance reviews you can see and you can, you can open it then you can see the feedback from the colleague as well so you can get multiple feedbacks and then at the end of the review you will be able to add notes if you want as well so uh, yeah this is how you can uh, perform a performance review on ICHRM and hope you hope this will help your organizations to uh, uh, manage your performance review properly